Hi Warriors, it's Hannah here and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you some clothes and I want to have a chat about confidence. A few days ago I was sent a box full of clothes by Cupshe. I do enjoy wearing clothes that make me feel comfortable, good and just happy inside my own body. Things that fit well, aren't too restrictive and don't make me question the parts of my body that maybe I don't like as much as other parts. That's where this little try on haul comes in. I do love me a little athleisure wear. If you're looking to buy any similar items for yourself, um, for reference, these were all as small and that tended to be the right size. The black leggings were a little bit tight and the blue shorter leggings were somewhat loose. Everything else I would say is spot on. So I think size wise, they're pretty on point. On the website, they also do have this whole measure your waist, measure your length, etc. guide. If you want to be sure you get the correct size. Anyway, Onto the outfits. I started out with a little blue combination that I absolutely love. Not only do I love the fabric and the texture this has, but the color is amazing. And the actual fabric is super stretchy and super comfortable. Whilst there's obviously a bit of skin exposed, which I think is the case with most athleisure wear nowadays, you can easily pair it with a little jumper or just pull the waist of the bottoms up higher. I really love this outfit because blue is my thing. However, I feel like the shorts are maybe a bit too big or they don't quite fit because I don't quite have that hip to waist ratio. However, it's not something I dwell on. I just put them up a little bit, make it look like that's the way it's supposed to be. I move on. Also, because I really love the top, I think it pairs well with quite plain black leggings as well. So I tried on the black leggings next. But to be honest, there's nothing plain about them. These are my favorite leggings and because they're black, anything goes. I love the fact that they rise up quite high, providing that bit of coverage. These leggings have got the cutest bit on the side that's nice and airy and it's got tiny little holes and I'm in love. The leggings are super comfortable, super stretchy and squat approved. I did also get two black sports bras to go with it. Personally, I don't do just sports bras at the gym, so I'd probably put a top on top of this, but both seem to provide quite good support. Although I assume this slightly wider open one might do so less so for bigger busts compared to this other one I've got here. The last thing I tried on, these leggings. They're my absolute favorite and there's no way I'm gonna get out of them, ever. Especially with working from home, I'm lounging around in leggings and sports bras and just comfy clothing all day long. I don't want to wear tight jeans that make me feel uncomfortable when I sit down or crop tops that make me feel very conscious of my body. With gym wear such as this, I think you can find whatever works for you, whatever you feel comfortable in. Especially during recovery, I think it can be really important to take some of the focus off of how you look and instead to focus more on being comfortable and keeping your recovery goals in mind. After recovery, I'm not gonna lie, there's still gonna be parts about your body that you may not be perfectly happy with. You may not fully love and that's okay. That's where wearing the clothes that make you feel like a queen comes in. I've gone through stages in my recovery where all I wanted to wear was really baggy clothes just stuff that really didn't hug my body at all. And then phases where those actually made me feel more uncomfortable. So it's a matter of finding 
what works for you. But there's a style out there for everyone. To me, what helped me most in building up my confidence was wearing the clothes that actually made me feel good. Not just clothes that hit my body, but clothes that made me feel like a queen. Clothes that were comfortable and actually suited me and my body. Next, daily gratefulness. And writing down the things that I'd done that day that I was proud of, the things that I'd achieved, and realizing there were many more of them than maybe I'd realized. Thirdly, focusing on the things that my body does, not necessarily the way it looks. That's only secondary, really. Being confident is doing what works for you, in spite of what others are doing, in spite of what others are saying. It's about finding your style and sticking up for it about finding what you enjoy and engaging with that doing what you like and doing it unapologetically doing it because you love yourself unconditionally keeping your back straight keeping your chin up accepting a compliment complimenting others building each other up treating my body with the respect that it needs and deserves even when i'm feeling like shit allowing myself treats, allowing myself to eat, allowing myself to rest, giving myself and my body what I need, being okay with that. During my recovery, when I really did not like myself and really did not like my body, it was a matter of building these habits, setting these routines in spite of my self-doubt and in spite of my insecurities. Telling myself that I deserve these things, even if I didn't feel like I did. Knowing that one day I would allow myself to do these things and fully stand behind the actions and I now do. And that's incredible. So what's your biggest tip? Share it in the comment section below and whilst you're at it, give this video a little thumbs up, subscribe and I'll see you for the next one.